think my uh, the backpacks I buy are, are just not as tough as me, or I just overload them. And like the balloon theory, I don't evenly space out the stuff in the bag, and then one side gets freaking you know too much crap in it, and then you're walking with the backpack on for so long and busts a hole through the damn freaking the weakest point or the point that has the most stuff jam packed in it. So, I uh, I wish these backpacks were stronger. I wish I didn't put so much crap in them because I've ripped like every single bag that I've ever had. I feel a little lightheaded, a little dizzy. Now it's a little numb. It's a good sign of a combination of probably uh, a little hydration, a little heat exhaustion. So I'm sitting down in a shady area, trying to conserve my energy as much as possible and drinking some water. You know, I've sweat a lot, even though I've drank a ton of water, or even though I drink a ton of water, I sweat a lot. And uh, as a result, my urine uh, is pretty yellow, even though I pretty much drank water consistently over the last few days. Um, so, just gotta keep drinking more water. So I just did a little quick research. It looks like heat exhaustion uh, is caused by a combination of being exposed to high temperatures and uh, strenuous exercise or using an excessive amount of energy. And basically your body has difficulty regulating its heat, its temperature. So, like solutions for this, and also like your heart, your heartbeat, your heart rate can steadily increase at an uncontrollable rate. Um, you know, dehydration is a, is a big part of it. So drinking water helps. Um, limiting your energy use, staying in cool areas, sitting down, that also helps. And I didn't see this on the website I was looking up, but I believe since an increased heart rate and um, excessive energy, our causes of heat exhaustion meditation should all meditation should also be considered um, as a useful tool to prevent heat exhaustion um, it, it can help I think regulate your body's temperature I'm not 100% positive about that but I'm pretty sure and it can also help regulate your heart rate and if those two things are causes of heat exhaustion then meditation should be uh, extremely practical a useful tool for regulating the causes and heat exhaustion, the causes of and heat exhaustion. comments um it's so like basically today it's very hot out and i made a very poor decision by wearing a black hat and a black shirt and that's a color that absorbs uh heat from the sun so it's very hard i mean basically as hard as as hard for me as possible to conserve energy because i'm wearing basically the darkest worst color that absorbs heat so when it's really hot out it's always a good idea to wear light colored clothing um, especially if you're moving around at night, uh, as like a safety, you know, safety, um, concern. Last night I was wearing dark clothing. I have like a navy blue backpack. I didn't have a light or any reflective, uh, item on me. And when I was doing deliveries at night, it was, it was very unsafe. Um, it was highly unsafe, but I try to be as aware as possible. I try to use my ear. 
hearing to uh, you know tell if something's coming up behind me constantly checking behind me all the time um, I like the scooter because I can keep my leg out and I can use it as a constant brake and basically stop on a dime on my leg I also can't go as fast as I can on a bike with that thing so it's a little safer um, it's easier to stop it's easier to stop on a dime something is uh, unexpected or coming your way so you know it's always good to, it's good for multiple reasons to wear light colored clothing for conserving energy and for safety if you're moving around and you're mo and you're moving around when it's dark out um, pretty often that's it's a pretty poor decision to wear dark colored clothing I would guess that this artwork is inspired by the Spanish Day of the Dead. That's just a guess on my part. It looks like a Mexican Spanish style with uh, looks like a skull. So it represents the Day of the Dead. Anybody else has a different opinion? Love to hear it. I really love finding um, older artwork on older abandoned buildings because like who knows if this was ever, you know, somebody took their time and made this art and, you know, obviously somebody skilled in their craft and who knows if this was ever documented, you know, just because of the age of phones and cameras and stuff, probably never documented and who knows how long this artwork is going to be around for. So there's definitely a lot of value in finding this these older this older artwork on these older abandoned buildings They're my favorite kind of artwork to find five years from now this may be washed away ten years from now washed away no one ever even know it existed